All right, yo, welcome back to another vid. Um, today we are reacting to if the sun goes out for 24 hours. Okay, 2017, my boy, dog. Hey, I, I want to react to it. Okay, we are gonna see, we are gonna see, we are gonna see what this video is talking about. Boom. Let's go. For a whole year. <laughs> what would happen to mankind? The very last photons from the surface of our star and the last particles that make up the solar wind. Okay, don't don't call it a star. It's not a, I don't like when they call it. It's not a star. It was a big ass star. No, it's not. Stop saying that, man. It's no not a freaking star, dude. The heart of our solar system has stopped functioning. It's a ball of energy. That's what it is. Nine minutes later, in the sky suddenly turns a ball black. of energy and it fuck you up. Upon the entire planet. No matter whether at the moment it's the deep dark of midnight or a bright sunny noon time at your location, you can quickly and easily see the difference. The stars are now all clearly visible against the sheer black backdrop of the sky. The moon is not visible at all since there is no longer any sunlight for it to reflect. A moment before the what? onset of the all Do that make darkness, sense? Yo, that don't make sense. Northern lights may appear due to changes in the magnetic no, field. No, that don't even make sense. And disturbances in the ionosphere. The most dreadful consequence of all is the complete and utter cessation of the process of photosynthesis, resulting in plants and cyanobacteria no longer producing oxygen. This will soon lead to, how shall we say, difficulties for every living being. After an mm -hmm. hour, true panic reigns over the heretofore daytime side of the Earth. Power and communication outages propagate across the entire planet. Temperatures everywhere drop by several degrees, and the Earth's surface begins to slowly cool. But from the inside, the planet is still heated by its molten core. 24 hours in, dawn has not and will not arrive. Panic and chaos are enveloping the entire world. State authorities have almost zero control over the situation. Humankind is trying to figure out what the hell happened while coping with massive power and water supply outages. The temperature on the surface falls to between 5 to 7 degrees Celsius. That's about 41 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit and has now decreased by about 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. That's a drop of about 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Some species of plants and microorganisms Why keep doing that? begin to die. The inhabitants of the oceans for the time being, feel almost no changes. After seven days, it's still dark. The average temperature on Earth is now minus 17 degrees oh Celsius. Oh my God. That's about one degree Fahrenheit. In areas where there are- You're dead, faults, right? Still warm, You're dead. Thanks to geothermal energy, not letting the surface freeze over. Most plants have already died due to cold or lack yeah, of Yeah, that's because because the cold is not organic. Animals also begin to die. In the oceans, phytoplankton begin to die as well. The inhabitants of shallow waters suffer tremendously from the cold, and the surface of the ocean is beginning to turn to ice. By now, scientists and other individuals have realized what has happened and rushed to organize and equip shelters. One month in, and the earth is continuing. What a bucking gonna do? The what is a bucking gonna do? The surface is now about minus 30 degrees. I don't know what it is. That's minus Yo, 22 degrees. Nah, 30. Oh, bro, I'm dead. That's too cold, bro. Virtually all plants and cyanobacteria have perished. Nah, Some that's too cold, of bro. Trees, I'm good. Conifers, are still alive. But with the lack of sunlight, even they are not producing oxygen. In fact, most of the Earth's living things have died. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, I'm Some dead already. Still carry on with I'm dead. Life activity. Most of the remaining life on Earth is now found only near... Where is he getting Earth? these pictures and water. photos from? Interestingly, the layer of ice on the surface of the oceans slows down their cooling. And in the areas of oceanic tectonic faults and geothermal sources, the water is still warm, obviously being naturally heated. But even in the ocean, the drama of a mass extinction event begins Yo. to unfold. One year in, and the surface Dude, of the everybody's Earth fucking dead, and the fucking world is over. Layer of ice. According to Professor David Stevenson at Caltech, the temperature on the surface of the Earth should drop to about minus forty degrees Celsius. That's, That's it. The same in Fahrenheit. 
Life endures now only deep in the Earth's oceans. And perhaps some groups of humans might be able to survive on the surface of the planet in places like Iceland and other areas with large amounts of geothermal activity. Professor what? We can still live? Earth ...will continue to cool for another several thousand years until wow. the surface temperature reaches approximately minus 160 oh degrees Celsius. God. That's about minus 256 degrees Fahrenheit. At that no, point, that's crazy. Life on the planet, in the usual sense of the word, will simply become impossible. And wow. let's not forget about the gravity of the sun. After all, it's unlikely that the sun could suddenly go out without losing its gravitational pull. If the sun ceases to hold the planets and other celestial bodies in their orbits, then the planets and asteroids will simply fly away into outer space, some mm. of them possibly even colliding with one another. The Earth, for one, will soar out into okay, space. Okay, first of all, could get first of all, I don't believe, I don't, I don't think, it, I don't, I don't know, I don't feel as though it's a space. I don't know, like, some of y'all might think, but I don't think so. I just don't think it's like that. I don't, I just, it just looks so flat. It don't even look, like, it look like we're on it like a dome and you can't leave this place unless we perish, which die. That, I don't, I don't know. With I, don't, I, I ain't gonna speak about it though. Radiation collide with another planet, or even someday end up in the gravity well of a black hole. There's also a very small possibility that after wandering through space for a very long time, the Earth would be able to integrate into another stellar system and find a new sun. In the end, however, it's important to realize that this scenario is just a <clears throat> or rather a okay. thought experiment of sorts. As for the real future of our star, in a couple of billion years, the sun will Stop. swell and turn If he call it a motherfucking star one more goddamn time. Stop calling it a star. It's a ball of energy. Am I right? Yes. I like that. I like because he calling it a star. I don't like that. To a red it's, giant. Our star will swallow shut Mercury up. and Venus. And Earth and Mars will become heated up to several thousand degrees. In five billion years, the sun will explode and throw no. its outer envelope, leaving at the Wait, wait, wait. The if it explodes, wouldn't that make it more hotter? No, it wouldn't make it more hotter. It just that don't even make sense. How would it explode? It's too hot. Wait, what would win? Hot or cold? Hot. Hot always win, right? I'm hot gas to win, right? A gradually cooling stellar core, a white dwarf around which will orbit whatever remains of the solar system after the explosion. Concerning humankind, its fate remains unknown. Hopefully, by that time, we'll be able to fly to other planets and star systems. But that is a story for another day. Wow. Hey. Y'all enjoyed that? Hey, consider leaving a like, subscribe. That is the end. I'm just gonna be doing a lot of reactions. I, I at this point, I just don't know about Fortnite. Fortnite is just not it, man. But yep, that is it. I'm gonna just do a lot of just spam reaction videos. That's what I'm gonna do, and just upload them. But yeah, I'm out of here. Y'all take care.